Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making cupcake meatloaf with mashed potatoes. Alright, I'm starting out here with two pounds of lean hamburgers. It's 80 20. For this you want to use a lean burger because you're not going to be draining the grease off. Now I have here one red onion that I diced up fine, about a quarter of a cup of fresh flat Italian leaf parsley, and if you only have dried parsley, just use about two tablespoons, that'll work, and about two cloves of garlic I minced up fine. I'm going to go ahead and add that in. Now I'm going to add in some Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put in two teaspoons and I'm just going to eyeball this. All right, and if I went a little heavy on it, that's fine. I'm also going to add in some ketchup. I'm going to put in about two-thirds cup and this here I'm going to eyeball too. All right, some salt and pepper, about a half a teaspoon of each. And if you don't have uh, salt and pepper grinders, that's no problem. You can use a regular rod uh, out the tin. All right, now I'm going to put some breadcrumb in here. I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup. And this is Italian seasoned breadcrumb. That'll give it more flavor than just plain breadcrumb. And lastly, I'm going to add in an egg. I'm going to get in here and mix this all up, and then I'll be back. Okay, now I have a uh, non-stick cupcake pan here that I spray with some cooking spray. I'm just going to take my hamburger and stick it down in them. And you want to fill them up right about to the top of the cupcake pan. I want to get these all filled up. Right, I have all my meatloafs in the pans, and I was worried that I wouldn't have enough uh, hamburger to fill one pan, but you see I have two, almost two and a half filled here. I'm going to put these in a 350 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes until they're done. Alright, my meatloaf is done. It took a half hour. Now I made some instant mashed potatoes here, and the reason I used instant is because they're going to be easier to work with than uh, homemade mashed potatoes. Not only that, with working today, I want to take the easy way out. Now I took a freezer bike here and I cut the tip off just a little bit. And I put extra milk in my potatoes because you want them real creamy so you can pipe them in here fairly easy. Or pipe them on top of your meatloafs. And if you have a pastry bag that would be better, but I don't have one so we're going to use what we have. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this up and try my cake boss skills. I don't know how well it's going to work. You just want to pipe this around on your meatloafs. I'm going to go ahead and pipe this around on all of these meatloafs, and when I'm done, I'll be back. All right, now that I have the mashed potatoes on this, and I made 12 servings of the mashed potatoes, you'll get away with six probably. I'm going to put these under the broiler for a few minutes to toast to top those mashed potatoes up. All right, these are ready. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I had so much extra mashed potatoes left over, I decided to serve extras on the side. I'm going to finish this off by garnishing it with a little bit of parsley. And if you feel ambitious enough to make gravy, you can serve that on top too. So there you have it. Cupcake meatloaf with mashed potatoes. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.